Hello, my name's Helena, and this is the beginning of what I hope will be a series on learning the banjo. And um, I learned most of my playing when I was living in West Virginia. I live in New Zealand now, and um, I've been playing for a long time. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do is get in tune. Um, I'll just check that I'm in tune. You can tune along with me. Of course, my tuner is not responding. But anyway, that's meant to be G. Uh, it doesn't matter if it actually is. You just, if you just get in tune with me, we'll be able to play it together. Um, so the lowest string, string four. Let's go up close. This one here should sound about like that. The third string next to that should sound about like that. The second string should sound a little bit sharp. About like that. This string it sounds like that. And the fifth string at the top here should sound like that. Okay, you might have to rerun that a few times to get in tune, but uh, I'll just go. The claw hammer looks like this. Um, not that last bit, I was just showing off. <laughs> um, so I'm going to break that down into three pieces um, so that you'll know exactly what's going on. And uh, if you've never seen it before, um, and if you have, then maybe it's still a mystery, and um, this will help you know what's going on. So, the first thing you're going to do is strike the third string. Doesn't matter which one, but we'll just do the third. With the back of your fingernail, and it could be any either of those two fingers. So you're going to need some fingernails. So, um, it's going to, and your thumb will always land on the fifth string at the top there. Um, so it'll go like this. Close. See how back of my fingernail is hitting the string. Thumb lands on the fifth string. recommend you pause the video uh, if you like and practice that for a while because um, what you're really practicing is having your thumb land there and your aim getting a nice clear sound and hitting the string that you want to hit as opposed to the ones next to it and that, that can just take a bit of practice to um, it sounds simple but it's just muscle memory so um, the next step is the strum part of it. So that's just gonna, you're gonna go down the strings and your thumb still lands on the fifth string there. It's a nice fat sound. Now I'll just point out that this is the claw. This is why it's called the claw hammer style. So here's your, your claw. And um, when you're just doing the note, it's quite a small gap here. Now, even if you're just doing up there, it's a wider gap, but still. When you do the strum, I like to think of it as the momentum of your hand going downwards and being stopped by your thumb here forces the claw to open. So you're going to go like that. Um, and if you imagine that there's a spring across here and here, it's going to want to snap shut. 
I've given away the third step. <laughs> but anyway, let's go back to the strum. You're just going to go like that. Gives you like a nice strum going. So maybe run that through a few, um, a few more times on your own and then come back. And then we are going to add the third component, which is the great mystery of five string banjos that the great vast majority of the population does not understand. And some people even play four string banjos, but in my opinion, what's the point? Might as well get a real banjo <laughs> with five strings. Okay, the third component is just that. So your thumb either pulls outwards or upwards depending on how, how where you are in your bounce. Get a nice clear note on that fifth string. So to put those three components together we're going to have a note Close, note, strum, thumb, note, strum. You can see that after you've done your strum, if you imagine that's your spring that's been forced open, and then it's as it snaps shut is when you get your sound from the thumb flicking off that fifth string. Note, strum. introductory grassroots basic as you can basically basically basic basic get the basic <laughs> claw hammer banjo I hope you enjoyed that um, don't forget to hit the, the like button uh, down there I believe it is and um, that'll help us get around and um, I hope to see you in the next videos I'm out peace <laughs>